Hello everybody, Princess Casserole here, and I am here because I got a $49.99 jewelry bag today, and I could not wait to open this <laughs> up. There was, it's pretty big, um, $49 is a lot, uh, most of the time it's just like $20 at this place, but um, sometimes it's a little bit more. Um, all right, I'm just going to dig in. I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> so we're just, we're just going to dig in here. I think they double bagged it too. All right, here we go. Hello, Sandra. All right, so I think there was one in here. I think this is a set that goes together. Hello, Ansley. Um, this is cute. It's missing some, some little guys here, but that is adorable. Um, and I saw this in there, and the guy... Um, that put this together was super nice and he said he had put some things that he thought were gonna be fun to open in here um, so shout out to you cuz uh, I always love doing this so okay oh look how cute Let's see Oh, this is Kirk's Folly. I've never seen one like this. It's got the little thing in it. There is a little plaque in there. Um, now, Kirk's Folly is on QVC, I believe. This is very cute and delicate. I have not seen one like that. So, and this is still in the box. How cute! Hello, Mike. A big old box. It's forty nine or a big old bag, forty nine ninety nine. And we's opening it because I couldn't wait. <laughs> there was a fun jewelry sale today, um, and well, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. But I stopped a little early today and got, got this bag. So that's what is in store for tomorrow. It's going back to the jewelry sale. I'm going to the jewelry sale. This one's kind of meh. It'll go in the crafty, crafty, crafty. But I thought this was pretty neat too. I saw there was also a Monet in here. It looks like a, a bangle. Yep, and it's signed Monet in there. So this is fun too. I don't know, I don't remember. Um, Angie would know when this was from. This is $18 and then marked down, but I think maybe 80s, 90s for this one. I think maybe 90s. But it's fun, it was in the bag. It's always. It was nice to get things, not the bag. What am I talking about, guys? It was in the box. These are nice quality beads. Um, so those will be nice for somebody to use to make something else. Um, this one is just costume. I think these little links would also be nice. Um, let's see, what's this guy? I don't think this is Bakelite. No, it is marked Avon in there. That's interesting. I have not seen an Avon bracelet that looks like that. Vintage Avon or Avon. Isn't that what some of you, you guys... I started calling it 
Avon. I'm pretty sure my mother used to sell this. I really remember. Didn't they sell the Park Lane with catalogs before? And it used to be pretty expensive. But um, that's nice, too. I have quite a few of these. This one is long, though. I started singing. I was singing a song before I got on with you guys. And I, I just thought it was pretty silly. I was singing, I got a bag. <laughs> All right. So that's what this one looks like. Pretty cute, I think. Um, let me know if there's any problems with the feed or anything, but um, I think this one's super cute. Love it. What are you guys doing tonight? And this is heavy. This is real glass with the Aurora Borealis coating on it. It's very pretty. I have a hard time thinking about where to put things. I'm like running out of space, guys. Um, these are cheaper bangles. I think there's the other Avon in here too. Oh, so I saw this. This one's 925. And I have other ones of these. Like, I'll have to test it. I'll show you guys. Let's see, 925, Sterling, Mexico. Um, let me see. Oh, I do. I was going to say. And it is not magnetic. So. Hopefully this is sterling. I needed a, a couple more of these. I had I really like them and like wearing several of them. And these actually go for a decent amount, the um, sterling bangles from Mexico. So that's exciting. All right, watches. This is kind of a cool watch, actually. Let's get a little mark right there, though. Imitation leather, China. But it's kind of kind of cool with the um, faux turquoise. Here is another of those Avon. It's a cool color. Do you guys see the color? Yeah, I have no idea what's in here. This is a fun bracelet eh. like that very nice I think it's a nice plastic I saw this one too I thought this was pretty cute it looks like a cow or something how was everyone's Halloween we got like no trick or treaters here because it was it was storming. Uh, nineteen twenty eight. So this is a vintage nineteen twenty eight. Super cute little heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we have to eat all the candy. All right, I think this may be a belt. No. I don't know what this is. If it's glass or stone, I don't know. It's a mystery. All right, <laughs> where are we going here? This is fun um, links here. Let me move this guy. I thought perhaps this could be silver, but it is not. But it is a very fun necklace and does not look broken at all. I kind of like that one. And it doesn't look like it's missing any rhinestones, but look at how pretty the chain is.
think this one is broken. Hello, Roberta. Yeah, this one's broken. This leather band is cool, though. If anyone ever gets um, crap lop from me, I always like to see what people make. I think it's so cool. These are cute. These are the 80s cloisonne earrings with the little flower and butterfly. Those ones are cute. I know those don't sell for much, but I always think they're so cute. Random bead. And many, many bangles. These would be good. Some people say they make the dream, ca dream catchers with these. These ones are pretty strong, so they'd actually be nice for that. I should do that again. I haven't made any in so long. I used to, I learned actually, I'm part native, so I learned in elementary school how to make dream catchers. I have to get lucky. Um, they don't always have them. And, you know, there's a lot of people who, who look for them in my area, too. So whenever I see them, I buy them. This says 925 in it. It is so small. But it, this one's actually kind of fun. But my husband hates it when I wear, <laughs> wear rings up this way. I don't know why. It is not magnetic. There is one guy missing. This is a cool ring, though. It's pretty heavy. Oh, oop. <laughs> this one looks... Yeah, this one's marked 925. I think it was marcasites, and the marcasites are all out of it but I could fix that if I want to otherwise it could go in the scrap silver and it is pretty heavy I don't know I'm hoping one day silver goes up it's not very high right now 925 look how cute this one is so this one should say 925 in the class B here and also says it right here and all the stones are in there so this one is super cute oh wonderful welcome I always love meeting new people from around the world it's actually one of my favorite parts about doing YouTube this one I don't see Mark Sterling or anything, but these are definitely um, real pearls. They're freshwater pearls, but they're very nice on a very nice chain. So I'm happy about that guy. Oh, what is this? Look at how this, I think, just has to get pushed. I don't want to ruin it. There we go. I don't know what this is made out of. It's a little crack right there. I, I think it's plastic. It's a vintage plastic. That's really neat though, isn't it? It's beautiful. Do you guys still pick up the Alex and Ani at all when you see it? I actually have passed some by today. This is cute. There's no, no brand name or anything, but it's in really nice shape. Nice little bracelet. And an earring. Single earring. <laughs> yeah, it's always hard to figure out what to do next. Oh, look, chocolate. <laughs> I always laugh when I get something like that in here. 
One time it was candy corn. Sometimes it's perfume. Yuck. Okay, what is it? Gloria Vanderbilt. Do you guys remember Gloria Vanderbilt? I used to always have her um, jeans. I think, what did they sell them at Walmart or something? So these, I think, go together. That's so funny. I don't remember where they sold them, but I know. They're getting popular, too, so I think it's it's hard sometimes. I Like I said, I grab them when I can because it can be hard. Oop, let's see. Is this real? Nope. Love, love. This, so this is a fake Pandora. And this is also probably fake. Let's see. Although sometimes you can find real Pandora charms on fake ones. But nope, this is also fake. So it, it's not fake because it doesn't say Pandora on here. But it's not real Pandora. This guy. And they had one of these in the case. I think this is super 80s, right? The little beads and the um, barrel clasp. I need to put together an 80s lot. I think that would be really fun. So 80s is kind of popular right now. We have this. My friends and I were talking about selling something. I won't say the word ugly, but not to our taste. How about that? And uh, maybe this would be kind of fun to sell. I have no idea. Like, I think this is wood. I don't know. But the thing is, like, there's always somebody out there that likes stuff. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, the Pandora store is pretty expensive. They do have sales sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. Do, do you guys like that necklace? I don't know. Um, I got one for my daughter and I when I went in there the one day. Um, it was on sale, though. So this is a really heavy belt. And it is actually pretty cool. It is really, really heavy. And there's no words or anything on it. So actually, it would be really fun, fun to wear, I think. It is super heavy. And it is not tarnished at all. Um, I think that's actually kind of fun. And I'll put that to the side to try to wear it for myself. I kind of like it. I say that, but I really hate belt wearing belts. <laughs> but I try. Oh look, it's like a vintage cross. I don't care how much you guys dare me. I will not eat that chocolate, by the way. Oh, this is a match. I had this the other day, actually. So these are fun together, I think. I have certainly become like more appreciative of everything, learning like how much everybody appreciates different types of jewelry. Uh, this one's cute. It's a little bracelet. A girl's kind of bracelet. And this one is a rhinestone necklace. No name or anything, but it's pretty. Hmm. Hmm. This guy. You just gotta make sure these these guys aren't like 
Ooh, Pandora's or anything like that. Like I said, you just never know. Oh, like why is this stuff all, all attached? This is a magnetic little sand dollar with a cross. That's super cute. Hello, sand dollars. Oh, look at this one. What does this, what does this say? Long, long craft, I think. So they're like the faux turquoise. So that's pretty. It's a little faded, which is kind of a shame. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of expensive, but I didn't think it was too bad. Look at how cool this guy is. Oh, it's Avon. This is a really pretty Avon piece. Is it like a Maltese cross? And then these are glass. Yeah, this is stamped Avon there, too. I think maybe this didn't necessarily go there, but it's really long. This is a really cool necklace with the really cool brooch pendant. I like that. This is a really nice quality. Um, some of the Avon, like the 80s, 90s pieces are so nice. Yeah, that's nice, right? I love it. This guy's just a little costume. It's not silver or anything. I know. I just, I know um, Carol says that too about um, Avon, but it's true. Well, this is cute. It says Blessed Kate 48. I've never heard of that. Kate 48. This is really heavy. That's in very nice shape. Have you, you guys ever heard of that designer? I have not. It's heavy. It seems well made. So I'm definitely going to have to look it up because it might be a new one for me. This one's cute. Hello, Faith. That one's nice. <laughs> so hard to know where to dig in. Where do I dig in? These are kind of fun. And always check the little little guys at the bottom when you guys get your own lots or jewelry jars or whatever. Um, that's where I find the most stuff is at the bottom. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Look at this guy. I kind of really love these these shells. Oh boy. Is there something else in here? There's a little angel and stuff. Let's see. Um, I don't think that's silver or anything. So I'm not going to spend the time here, but oh my goodness, this is so heavy. And these are like the dyed shells, but also undyed shells. I actually don't love the dyed shells with it. I think it would be so much more fun, but just the natural shells. I don't know where to put that. I'll just, I'll just put it over there. I usually just throw these ones away, these plastic bracelets, or I wonder I probably recycle them, right? I'll put them in the recycle bin. Oh. Ha! For Tapo. I kind of love these. How ridiculous that I love these, but 
These are like cheap 80s earrings, but they are so fun. They were $7.50 originally, and then reduced, reduced, reduced. But these are so fun. How about these with that necklace? <laughs> that would be... I have um, a really fun sweater I think this would go with. And I love clear loose light. I'm actually all about those earrings. And some people think I'm crazy with what I like, but you know, you like what you like. This is pretty, guys. I know, right? Like, in the fun, cool 80s way. These are glass. They just need to get um, cleaned up. They're heavy, they're really cool. I like this necklace. White looks great, by the way. It is a color that looks really nice on. And this guy, this is not silver or anything. And this is like, I don't know if it's aluminum. Is it like aluminum or what? It's like one of those really light chains that I think they had, you know, during, during the war or whatever. A lot of them were made in West Germany. I had heard they used to make these in West Germany because they were so light and they had to go on planes. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. <laughs> More bangles. Let's see. You know, I kind of love 80s. I don't know. I grew up in the 80s, so it's fun. This one's like that too. Germany, see? All those light, lightweight ones, a lot of them are in Germany. But look at how pretty this pendant is. Love it. And Trifari, like Marcus ID's. This is newer. Surgical steel, steel ear wires. Really cute. Uh, oh, this one's nice. I don't see a tag or anything. Oh, I think it says something in here. Sarah. You guys see that here? Because I don't know if that's like Sarah Coventry. If it is, it's a new one. I kind of really like this color. It's like a corally orange color. That's different. Yeah, I, I have the song, I Saw the Sign Stuck in My Head Now. It's wonderful. Hmm. You know, these are really pretty beads to craft with. You guys all know I don't love things with ribbons. But this is actually kind of pretty. I do kind of like this. What do you guys think? It seems pretty... Um, Pretty clean. I don't know. I kind of like it. Single earrings. Oh, thank you. You know, some people say I put them to sleep. <laughs> that is not a bad thing, I think. I will be your bedtime story. Is that a weird thing to say? It probably is. But that's okay. Um, Expedition, Indigo Alarm, a leather strap, and this is in really nice condition. Um, what's cool? I, I haven't, you guys know I know nothing about watches, so that's my watch pile over there. Another gossip watch. I get so many gossip watches. I got a lot of gossip around here them watches. Hmm. Oh, I think this is Sarah. Yes. I actually have this. And it is a interesting necklace. 
it's like um, kind of reversible. I think it's super cool though. And it's heavy. It's a lot of... So I wasn't lying when I said vintage stuff in here. There's definitely a lot of vintage. DS. I have no idea what that is. This is kind of cute. broken. It's just his head. He's usually got a body. I love uh, these um, chains are really nice though. I'm going to take the poor, poor guy off of the chain. I often need chains like this. Maybe we'll Frankenstein him. Make him into something else. But these are nice heavy chains. You guys know what it probably what I'm kind of talking about. Oh, what was this? I've seen people make things out of old rosaries that were broken that look really nice. There's like stickers everywhere. Not the fun kind of stickers. Hmm. Don't see any sterling marks or anything. This one's from France. Looks older. It's kind of a cool um, wooden crucifix. I don't know what I was about to say there. Rosary. That's what I meant to say. I think this really looks sterling to me, but I can't can't read it. These look like pearls. Real pearls. They are very pretty. I don't have any of this color. They're like a really cool bluish purple periwinkle color. Those are beautiful. And then we have this guy who's got a really crappy, <laughs> crappy clasp. But I always think these are fun. They're coral and serpentine or jade or something like that with these little rice crispy type mother pearls. This guy's cool. He's old. He's been badly repaired. We'll lock it. I think I would probably take that off or maybe... Maybe you put it on, like, make a bracelet out of it, because that's kind of fun. And this guy, he's a butterfly. Just a nice little butterfly um, necklace. More of these guys. <laughs> what is this? There's a little pot in here. It is not in good shape. Looks old. Kind of fun though. A little pot. Oh, and this is just like that silver one, but in gold tone. No signature or anything, but it's heavy. It's nicely made. A Xanadu. Nice mother of pearl. Kind of worn on the inside, but not too bad on the outside. There are so many of these bangles, guys. I don't know why I'm whispering about that, but I am. What 
in the world is this? That's weird. This is weird. But it'll be nice, nice beads for somebody to, to use. Uh, I have no idea what that says. I think that's one of those monster high things. Is that what that is? Monster high? Is that so popular? Do any of the kids like that anymore? I don't, I don't really know. Oh, this is kind of 80s too, huh? Those little swirly enamels. Oh, what's this guy? Ooh, he's broken though. This is a vintage 1928. What a shame, that is so cool. Maybe something can be done with it. I don't know what. But it's so cool. Those things always break so easily. These are fun. These are 80s. This bag's like a blast from the past, eh? This is a fun 80s. So some of the 80s stuff is kind of Art Deco-y. BR. I think it's Banana Republic. Nice. That's fun. And I don't see anything missing or wrong with it. I really wish that song would come out of my head. Uh oh. Alright. Let me pull something fun out. What is this? Guess. I mean, that's what it is. I'm not telling you guys to guess. Pretty sure this is guess brand. Can't, can't do it. Do you guys ever go to church sales and like people are just crazy? It just gives me such anxiety sometimes. But I think this is guess. I can't get this undone. A lot of those sounds do. Ugh. Really? I think a lot of those brands are coming back. Like Guess and Tom Tommy Hilfiger. Um, a lot of that kind of stuff is coming back. Ooh, what's this? Nine two five. That's pretty. Little nine two five heart. It's marked right there. <gasps> pretty. Ooh. This is fun. I know <laughs> it does. These are so fun. I don't know why I love these. We are actually um, here where I live. In Western New York, we have this thing called um, the world's largest disco, and so that would be something fun to wear for the disco. I actually, fun facts, I love disco music. I don't know why. My husband seems to as well. I think it's because it's so happy. So I think this says R something. I don't think it's 925, but it is fun. So I think this is a pretty fun necklace. And the money goes to charity. So we usually go every year to it. Well, we have been at least for a while. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness gracious, this is a big watch. <sighs> wow. Really dirty. The really big citizen watch. Those definitely got issues. Wow, that 
that was huge. This nine two five. This is super cute. I think they're um was that plumeria or like those ones from Hawaii. Hibiscus, is that it? Very pretty. Oh goodness. Oh great, look what I did. <laughs> I just broke that. I can probably fix it. It's kinda cool. I like it. It's a mess mesh. Oh, it came off. Okay. <laughs> I probably broke it. It's okay. I hate these these ones right here. They always get stuck in everything. I've seen people make some really cool things with these. Recycle bead. Beads. Like these guys. With putting them with other beads and stuff like that. Um... So I have seen that, and I think it's pretty cool. All right. This guy. He kind of looked silver, but I'm not thinking he is. But it's cool. It's not magnetic. But that's fun. I used to love suns and moons. This is my thing. I was younger. Alright, this is stuck. And he needs to be re-strung. There's something so sad about stretch bracelets without any stretch. Why, I don't know. It just makes me kind of sad. Right, what do we got? Sorry, guys. I'm getting a little messy here. This is cute. Oh, this is Sarah Coventry. Cute little Sarah Coventry ring. wonder if this person sold. This is also Sarah Coventry. That is really pretty. Clippy. Um, yep, this is also Sarah Coventry. This guy is broken. All right. All right, let's see. What do we got in here? There's a thimble, guys. <laughs> oh, this I think is Avon. I think I've seen this one before. But it's a really cute piece. Or no, this is Sarah Coventry. It's a really cute piece. Alrighty. Okay. Whew. This is another um, belt. Oh, there's one break there. That is not a big deal. I can fix that. No problem. Don't really see anything wrong with it other than that one. It's very heavy and well made. I will fix that. Oh, here's another one of these. These are really cool, right? This is like this one and this one. Those are cool. Definitely look older. These beads are cool too. Broken, but oh, and now I'm getting them everywhere. I can't tell if they're plastic or what. <laughs> they're everywhere. This went with that other one that was broken. What is this guy? 
Maybe it's just a sunflower. It's fun though. It's it's funny because you can always tell like what the people that donated this stuff liked. This one's fun. I like the way it's shaped. It's the dichroic glass. Somebody had made the um, suggestion to make um, which one calls with it? Oh, now I can't think of the, the word. Ornaments. I thought that would be fun. Alright. So these are kind of cool. They will go together um, in for crafter. These are actually, like, they're really nice. These, I think, they're, like, broken, but things like this would be fun in those um, junk journals and things like that to, to craft with, even though, you know, with some wear and stuff on them, but that's kind of the look. Oh, this was the other one that I saw. I'm pretty sure this is, like, 800 silver or sterling. They usually are one or the other. But look at how cute it is. Yeah, it definitely smells like it. I think it's just, just a little bit bent, so I'll just have to take some pliers and kind of move it a little bit. But super cute filigree butterfly. Single earring. There's a lot of stuff in here, guys. We're like, I don't know what to what to grab next. I don't know why I'm talking like that either. A Rovada? Never heard of that. A Rovada watch. This is cute. The memory wire faux pearl bracelet. And a fumble wing. <laughs> Butterfingers. Oh yeah, and I saw this. I thought this was Sarah Coventry. There's one rhinestone missing. Easy replacement. But isn't this so pretty? This little swan pen approach pendant. Knew it would come to me one day. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. we have another watch. Stainless steel. Kind of like the band on that one. This one is a cheaper rosary than the other one. These these black beads are kind of fun. Screws me up, my husband has it on my phone where it like goes dark after a certain time. What's this? I think this might be gold filled. Let's see. These are really cute. Yeah, these are not one. This has that little like jade or serpentine or whatever. Uh, what does this say? Yeah, it's gold filled. One twentieth, 10k or whatever. And this is Sarah Coventry as well. And so Sarah Coventry had like um, a higher end line, Lady Coventry, and I think that's what that one was in. This guy. That is fun. Hmm. What do I do next, guys? These fun little clippies. More bangles. 
I have more bangles than I know what to do with. It's like never-ending bangles. These are pretty faded. Let's see. These are cute. They're little flowers. The rhinestones and pearls are all there. Just so it's nice. All right. I'm getting down there, guys. I promise. I don't know what this symbol is. Maybe Danecraft? Do you guys know? It's a nice chain. It's not gold or anything. I've seen these a lot. All right, let's see. There were these Avon, so Avon heart clippies. People do say the clippies sell. Hmm. Where's that other one? Claire's and all of that stuff, do you see? And then this one's kind of fun. I think that's sea glass, so that'll be used for crafting. That was that other one. Oh. I think maybe did the wing fall off of this guy? I don't know. Do you guys think that's the way it went? Probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think this was supposed to be on there. That's a shame. I should have probably realized it was broken. <laughs> Sorry for digging through y'all. So rainbows and some single earrings. I like these ones. I have a pair of those. I know it's those open open um, things are always a problem. What is it? Gucci watch. I don't, it's probably not. It's probably not a Gucci watch. That never is. Like, never assume it's, it's real, guys. Always assume it's fake. Because you don't want to get in trouble selling something that's fake. This one was also fake. I know it is pretty. And it's older, I think, too. I'm just looking through real quick. See if there's anything down here. This one's pretty, too. Oh, look at these! These are like cheap, old 80s earrings as well. But I kind of love these. Ugh. <laughs> Look at these. Those are so fun. Oh my goodness, I love these. And you guys can make fun of me if you want. But I think these are awesome. <laughs> They're so Wonder Woman, aren't they? I love them. This is some fun 80s stuff in this bag, for sure. These I will... <laughs> I hope so. 
It run pretty slow as it is. So pretty much anything is faster than what I currently run. Let's see. These guys are fun. They look like um, native style um, wedding basket, I think, or something. These are also pretty faux memory wires. These also look like those Trafari earrings. They're a little worn, though. Xanadu or something? I don't know. Watches. <laughs> you guys know, you know nothing about watches. This is a fun chain. Ooh, a really big rubber band. Oh, see, why can't this be on that one thing? I mean, maybe it can be. Maybe we can figure something out on how to fix that, because I really love that necklace. Uh, I think this is France. Look, um, another crucifix. Um, um. That's fun. All right, what what else is in here, guys? I don't know what that says. This one's kind of fun, though. It's pretty. It's not that bad. Um, what? I don't think it's worn. This guy, I don't think is either. But he's just. Whoa. I did not see that coming. Here's a stretch ring. Oh, I got two of those. It's kind of cute. I like these. You guys like those? They're heavy. They seem kind of quality. Mm. Oh, there's more. These ones are not nearly as fun, but they're still, they're still fun. What in the world? <laughs> so difficult. Let's see. Sorry about the weird angles. That's fun. I think that's pretty. What do we got here? That's pretty. It's a black, shiny black beaded necklace. And a weird fish necklace. Weird fishies. Do you guys, anyone love this? There's always somebody out there. That's why I ask. Because I always think it's fun when someone's like, that is my favorite thing ever. That's fun. You know? And then I'm like, I learned that there's stuff out there for everybody. Ooh, I like this. There really is, though, and I think that's what's fun about jewelry. Oh, I'm pretty, pretty, this one is cool. How is this? These are the devil, by the way these guys and those fishing line ones devil this is really heavy it's pretty cool these are glass beads that's a nice one Boop. really heavy all right so what I try to do is release them so sometimes it works and other times it does not. But look at how cool this is. I want this. 
to be freed. Send me positive thoughts here that I can get this done in like quickly for you guys. I have very low hopes that I will. Look at this. This is why these are the worst. Can't imagine if you had that in like your jewelry box. You were going to grab something from your jewelry box and just everything was tangled in it. Oh my goodness, I would cry. You're getting ready in the morning. Okay. I just want to get it enough that you guys get an idea of what this looks like. That's so cool. All right. I got the first part. And then it's just these guys. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, I got one. I got two. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me, guys. I'm sorry. I have scissors over there, but like... It's so far away. So hopefully I can show you guys what I get at the jewelry sale tomorrow, tomorrow as well. Um, oh my goodness, I got that undone. I can't believe I did that. It's a little bit of wear, not bad. This is so unique, isn't it? Let me show you guys a little closer. Um, they have a jewelry sale that they have every year, and I usually go. I actually took <laughs> a couple hours off of work in the morning to go. This is so cool. I think this would be so fun to wear. I love that. That was totally worth it for me. I don't know if it was worth it for you guys, but it was worth it for me. These are pretty. Very vintage-y. They're fun. All right. We are almost done here. Plastic bag. You love how dirty my hands get. This is fun. These pink beads are pretty. So this is usually the thing that everybody hates, but this one was behaving fine. I know everybody hates whenever I do... Uh, Craft lots. People hate plastic beads, but sometimes they're pretty. Look at that. It's almost like moon glow. I don't know. I don't always hate plastic beads. I think this guy is a little bit broken, but not much. That's an easy fix. Isn't that this fun. What a pretty color of blue and green. These are nice, like, mid-century necklaces. I always like those. See? Now this guy's not behaving. New house? I have never heard of that brand. I quite like these paper chains. They are my favorite chain style. 
So I wonder if I could clean that up at all and use it and craft these. This guy, he's a mess. These are oh, just a plastic necklace and uh, this one. Let's see. What's this guy? What is what is he? Is this two? You guys think it's two and one? It's kind of fun. I think it's two. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what this is. But it's kind of fun. I only see one clasp. <laughs> but it's nice. I don't know. It's nice. They're heavy. They're well made. Um, let me see. Oh, what is this? Look at this guy. Look at this. This is old. It's a, a sacred heart pin, right? I think it's one, too, but I just... <laughs> I don't know. I do not know how to want it. Yeah, see? If I could get those onto that other thing, that would be so cool. We shall try to do that. What the heck are these, guys? Because I see these all the time, and I have no idea what they are. Not this. That is weird. Honestly, this one's weird. Let's see if it's magnetic. It is not. Hmm. I'm going to have to test this. See if it's gold or anything. But... These, I see so many things like this, where it's just like the chains, and I have no idea what those are from, but I have like 20 of them. I have no idea what they're for. And, oh, this is fun. I like this one. I think that's natural stone. All right. I think that's pretty much it. Let me just make sure. This one's kind of fun. These will be really nice for somebody to um, bead with. And, oh, the shell. I love shells. I really do. I don't know if that's weird. I like them a lot. And then this guy, and there's another shell. All right. I think that's it. I also have uh, this heart right here, which was also really cute. So there were some fun things in there. <laughs> I am not mad at it. I definitely got some things that were really cute. Oh, there's one more. I think these are also Avon. I think I have these. These are so cute, aren't they? Um, I had her clip sell, so we'll try it and see what happens. Um, this one's cute, too. This is heavy. There's a lot of nice, like, um, miscellaneous unbranded ones in this, too, actually, which is nice. Um, all right. So I hope you guys had fun. Um, maybe I put you guys to sleep. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I don't, I don't actually take that as a, an insult because a lot of people say it's relaxing. And 
I do a lot of things to relax too, better than drinking every night, right? <laughs> um, but now that I am nice and relaxed from going through here, I'm going to go to bed and I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I will have some things from the jewelry sale, a haul to share with you tomorrow. So look forward to that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.